do it into single plots. And if it's the summertime, maybe do a weave. Always change my Hello, welcome to Two Mad Beans Podcast. A new week, a new episode. And today I'm excited about this particular episode. When I was growing up, I had this idea of having a robot in my room. A robot which can help me to clean up my room, fetch food from the kitchen to my bedroom, and help me beat up my bully friends at school. And today I have a friend, Kojo Ofe Daku, who is into robotics. And today the topic is robotics, the future of Ghana's technological advancement. Welcome, Kojo. Thank you very much. What's up? Cool. Everything is cool. Everything cool. Everything cool. So uh, Daku is from from a place right now. He went to a place to teach a kid who is into robotics. And I'm so excited that, okay, so we have people who are learning robotics at this phase of our development because in Ghana, technology is not much of of news now. But these days, in between here, people winning competitions abroad and all that. And I have a friend here. So welcome. Thank you. So what is robotics? Okay, so when we talk about robotics, Mm -hmm. robotics is a field of engineering Mm -hmm. that deals with the making, the programming, and the uh, designing of robots. Okay. Okay, so when we talk about robotics, the first thing that comes to mind is automation. Automation. Mm -hmm. Many people don't know. Uh, they think uh, robotics is all about the human being. Yeah, he might be walking. Yeah, human being true, walking true, and true, stuff. Yeah, but true. robotics is all about automation. Automation. A robot is anything that can <clears throat> that can uh, do stuff okay. without the help of a human being. Wow, yeah. wow. So I have, if I have a, a, a vacuum cleaner that can clean my room without my interference or without my help, it's a robot. It's a robot. Yes. Okay. Okay. So how did you get involved in robotics? Okay. So I I attended Ghana Technology University College and uh, I did um, telecom engineering, mm-hmm. which is electronics and computer programming. Mm-hmm. So after I completed, uh, I met my boss, Electropro, Electropro Group, uh, the boss of Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's where we, we started the robotics. The whole movement. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So... How is the grassroots education accepting robotics? Because for me, so I met you on Facebook, we started chatting. All the news I had was Ghanaians went for competitions and they won. I've not met anybody who, who have told me sometime, sometime back that he's involved in robotics. Okay. So the grassroots, how are they accepting robotics? Yeah, the acceptance level is, is not that much. As I said, people think some metallic human being. Yeah, yeah the so idea. The idea, because of the idea, mm-hmm. people are not accepting it that much. But gradually, gradually, we are getting there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what are the statistics of active students involved in learning and practice of robotics in Ghana? Yeah, for the statistics, you see the... the uh, uh, robotics in Ghana, the robotics education in Ghana is is, is very new. So mm-hmm. the statistics is there's no so yeah, on it right now. Yeah, there's no true, statistics. true, yeah. true, true. Why should a child of school going age be involved in robotics? Okay, so I'll give um, three reasons why a child of school going age. Yeah. So first of all, problem solving skills. Now we want to uh, bring our children up so that they be able to solve problems oh, not, yeah. uh, not just take the uh what we in the school and then just yes yeah we want them to be problem solvers and okay. then robotics gives that to the kid okay mm-hmm. so because they when when you are programming you are doing the electronics they'll encounter problems but because they'll be seeing motors and lights burning and all those things they'll be excited to solve the problem and move ahead mm-hmm. yes, so it's all about so that, problem solving yes problem solving okay and then secondly it's a boost or it encourages kids to uh, take uh, up careers in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Okay, 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 okay. And the, the last one? The, the last one, I'll say that robotics is the future. Okay. Yeah. So if robotics is the future, we need to connect our children to the future. Mm-hmm. In doing so, in practicing robotics, too, we are able to connect them to the future. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Do we have the teachers and facilities in Ghana for learning of robotics? Um, for the teachers, we, 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 we do have, because we have more engineering students, some are, who are not even working and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so for the teachers, they are there, they are there but facilities, the facilities, they are not so much. But have you, have, have, do you have ways to contact the government or streamline all these ideas to the government to help you guys? 
have facilities in practicing this thing? Yeah, but uh, not the government per se. So what we do is we, we, we are trying to contact the schools so that we will have a form of clubs in the schools. schools. Yes. That would be beautiful. Yeah, so when, when we, we do that, when we come to the school and we, we are settled with everything, mm -hmm. then we try to convince you that we want to set up a robotics lab or something in the yeah, school. school. Yeah, school. That, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So, what are some of the eminent challenges facing people in learning and teaching of robotics in Ghana? Okay, so the, the, the most one I would say is the uh, belief gap. Some people believe that electronics and coding is uh, very difficult. Very challenging. Yeah. And then another belief people have is that ro robotics will take up or will take off their jobs. Yeah, robotics. human jobs. Yeah, so if they will do that, then <laughs> so how are you how are you addressing those issues? For yeah. one, like the coding, people have this idea that coding is really challenging. Yeah. So how do you address it to the layman or somebody interested in robotics? So what we, what we do is uh, from time to time we organize this free workshop where we, we tell people about robotics and we let them know that it's not that difficult. Difficult. Yes. yes. And with the the with the uh, grievances of people who think that at a point robotics will take over the human job. Yeah. That's the reality. Yes. Because at the point, robots will take yeah, over. Yes. So yes. how are you going to incorporate so, human beings and robots at the same time? Yeah, so what I tell them is, uh, one time a man also asked me the same question. And what I, I told him was that uh, computer, when you go to a time, computer came into the system, people were saying that the computers are taking off the jobs. Mm -hmm. those things, mm -hmm. But those who were still at the jobs are, were those who were computer literate. Yeah, true. Okay. true. So if, we, so if the robot comes in, we and still need humans. Yes, we need, still need humans. And then we need robotics, people who are enlightened in robotics. About this. Yes. Okay, true, 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 very true. So after learning advanced robotics in Ghana, are there opportunities to use this knowledge and skills to develop ideas or products in Ghana rather than going abroad to practice? Yeah, so what we're in Electro Pro Ghana, what we are doing is uh, we are not only into training, just that we are, for now we are... But the goal or the main goal is for us to have a product development center where these people that we teach or we train, we come up with ideas and all those things. Mm -hmm. and we can come up with products and put it into the So it doesn't, but after learning, it means there's hope for you to stay in Ghana and still practice it yes. and make yes. products and bring up yes. ideas yes. and all that. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So... This year, an all-girl robotics team from Ghana won the World Robotics Competition. Does it end after the competition or there are streamlined plans to further place them in the areas where their passion and learning are sustained? So these girls went, they won, they won the thing, they, they're back in Ghana. What's next for them? Okay, so uh, what I know of some, some are still with the various schools. Mm -hmm. Some are, have gone to the tertiary school and then mm -hmm. they are having a robotics club in those, in those schools. Yeah, okay. Then some have gone back to the school where they are teaching, teaching the younger ones. So still sustain there. So right now, everything yes. boils down to we now developing a large number of people who are interested in robotics. robotics yes. So we should rather so, uh, pause the idea of we creating products, huge products or innovative products to be helping the grassroots to grow. Yes, grow. So after growing at a point, we start developing huge things. Yes. That's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. If anyone wants to learn robotics from you, how does the person contact you? Okay, so we are on Facebook, Electro Pro Ghana. Electro Pro Ghana. Yes, Instagram, Electro Pro Ghana. Uh, Twitter, Electro Pro Ghana. Okay. Okay, so your contact, suppose somebody wants to call you directly, yeah. talk to you. So they can come to you. Do house training too. Yes, we do home home training. training yeah. So uh, our contact number is, is, is for calls. For calls. Yeah, zero five four four. Zero five four four. Seven five. Seven five. Two six. Two six. Zero zero. Zero zero. Yeah. Okay. And then for our WhatsApp is zero five four. Zero five four. Eight seven eight seven five 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 four seven seven four seven seven. So the numbers again is zero five four four seven five two six zero zero. That's for calls yes. and for WhatsApp is zero two zero five four eight seven five five four seven seven for WhatsApp. Yes. So you call Electro Pool Ghana. They will come to your house. They will teach you. See, put your children into this thing. Me, I'm amazed. I'm going to help put some kids into robotics. Because till today, I thought robotics was all about the ones we see on TV with the moving machine and all that. 
anything automate, automated is robotics. So you need to put children into that thing. Because you're welcome. Thank you for coming to. God bless you. I love this session. Trust me, after this discussion, I want to talk more about it, how to also put some people uh, under you to learn. So God bless you for coming. Right, thank you very much. Bye.